Welcome to Weekly Battle Feed. This week's episode is brought to you by Crank Liberty's Hardcore Battling. Hey yo, I think he brainwashed. I gotta do this to save James. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> King of the Dot held his third monthly Battles at the Bunker event in Los Angeles over the weekend, with the main event of Big K vs. Cortez having its own interesting moments, such as background fighting over time limits, Big K's unusually short third round, and people on the internet saying K lost, some saying twice in a row including the show-off battle. But you gotta remember, this is internet opinion, so most fans present the argument as this. Because if you dared to fucking come up to me in person, in real life and fucking say shit to my face this is what you're gonna get in the head as hard as I fucking can and fucking crack your skull open which if presented to Big K could actually turn into this fucking crack your skull open <laughs> Pat Stay vs. Sirius Jones was also announced for world domination a rescheduling from when they were supposed to battle at the last blackout event here's a sneak peek Gun Titles vs. NWX recently came out from URL's Unfinished Business 2 event. This battle's a rematch, as is the recent DNA vs. Disaster battle. Hell, even the upcoming title match is a rematch. With the influx of young talent coming in, people still seem to want to see big names face each other over and over again. Their first encounter was legendary. He cut his beard because he couldn't... he's a queer version of a black man. How the hell are you gonna come at me? I'm gonna smash you. You're a fucking kid who drives a taxi. Their rematch was nothing short of a classic. I came here to battle jack shit. And that's it. <laughs> I guarantee your mother cries sometimes because she thinks you're a disappointment. And now, it's time for the final chapter. Martin Shkreli, American businessman and shit pot stirring enthusiast, traded words with disaster on Twitter which led to an offer from King of the Dot for a battle. Disaster said he would do it for the Wu-Tang album Shkreli purchased, but I think we've seen how battle rap and business moguls work in the past. Will you remember me? Okay. Okay, I, I don't want to put my mouth on that now. That's absolutely disgusting. That. Smack uploaded a list of the 30 most requested battles for the upcoming Summer Madness event. A lot of interesting notes here. Tay Rock is on there nine times, Hollow and Clips only twice, Calico only once, and the only non-black guys being Cortez and Big K. You know, since rematches are fairly popular, why don't they just have... This episode, I want to give a shout out to Steve Finch, a graphic artist who makes a lot of cool shit for battle-related pieces such as artist renditions, memes, and all sorts of stuff. Add his page, Art of Battle, on Facebook and check it out. Or if you have lower standards, Enjoy my MS Paint tutorials coming soon on Ruin Your Day.